Hello and welcome to career mode guys, the first ever episode uh, on my channel, um, due to popular demand I've um, decided to embark on this series and uh, hopefully it should be a bit of fun. I can see that my setup isn't um, a normal setup, it's the engineer setup, the full dry one all, all the way to the right because I accidentally left one shot qualifying on. Um, so I was stuck with that setup. So for the next uh, future episodes, I'll be back to normal setups. But um, here we go for the first race. Here we are, lining up on the grid for the start of a new season. Let's see what we can do. And we're away in Melbourne! Got off to a decent start, got past uh, Kova Liner there. Carpe Kane is next, I should be past him in the turn one. Everyone breaks early, as I sort of give everyone a little nudge in the turn one. And I'm up to 21st. If I use a bit of curves, I can slip past a few more cars and maybe dive down the inside here into turn three. Turn two? Turn two. You yeah, know, sort of, yeah, that was a bit illegal, so I'm, I'm waiting for a few cars. I'll go again. Kobayashi's really slow, he looks like he's got no wing. But, um, the opening lap chaos is always evident on F1 with uh, AI cars because they drive so slow some reason they will just back each other up and just drive so slow that's um starting on the primes and we're looking to stop pretty early for options because the tire wear here isn't that bad it's pretty good so I can run the majority of the race on options so it should um, get, take away my track position early but then I'll have it all back at the end of the race due to undercutting everyone so we'll see where I end up it's, um, it's not going to be easy though, with this um, stock setup, which is about at least a second, second and a half or two slower than my regular setup. And uh, as we dive down the inside of Peak, forces him wide, and we get the spot back off of him. Next on my list is Mark Webber, fellow Australian. Um, just remember, remember guys, this isn't the full race, this is just um, a highlight sort of package, like uh, like an hour race, so cut out the, um, the boring bits or stuff for that are not important or nothing really happened. Um, but next race at Malaysia, um, I'll be showing the whole race and it will be live. So um, yeah, it should be pretty good. Second lap coming into the first sector, there, coming out of the first sector in the purple. Hopefully, setting fast lap, burn a bit of fuel. I normally try and burn a lot of fuel early in the race so that my car's lighter and um, I have a bit more speed due to the lighter car. And as you can see there, I just breezed past Weber and I mm, almost had Grosje on there, but he, oh. He had a bit of a, a poor run through the, the fast chicane there, and I was able to get around him. Skipping to the third lap now, and I think the this is... is running the option tire. We may have trouble closing the gap during this stint. I think this is the lap where I make my pit stop. Pit crew will ready option tires for yeah. your next stop. I'm just running it in lean through the corners, so that um, I don't burn up the rear tires and also burn up fuel because you don't really need a higher fuel mix when you're running through a lot of corners because it doesn't lose you much time it's a bit of a tactic I have I've had for a long time now it seems to help a bit that's why you see me change fuel mix a lot but um coming up to Maldonado um I can stick it up in the fast, use a bit of my curves, I should have him after the chicane because that's a good passing area you get, you get a strong slipstream after this corner here. 
because most of the cars have used up their curves and if you save some you can really make inroads into the car ahead when you use more than they do so coming into the pits um, I've got plus two laps I can't really see my my, um, my preview window screen is very small I can't really see that much Real corner cut I bad coming into the pits a bit of an awkward uh, pit lane that one sometimes I've hit the wall coming in on approach which is a bit embarrassing but, um, I'm the first to pit I should come out in clean air because I've stopped so early under the option tires you go. Pit stop is 3.1 seconds. It's not too bad for um, Williams in 2012 performance mode. So I'll take that. Looks like I am going to come out in between a group of cars. And that's Daniel Ricciardo behind me. Just going to apply a little bit of pressure. Oh, I've got DRS. No, oh, it's petrol actually. But, um, I've locked up into turn two, probably due to the cold tyres. Um, once my tyres come up to temperature, I should be able to pull away from the group behind, and hopefully make inroads on the leaders and undercut them. As you see now, I'm skipping forward. I've already caught up to Ricardo. I'm assuming he hasn't stopped yet, but I'll have DRS on him. Where am I going to go? Around the outside in the turn two. No, oh, I didn't have DRS. I suppose I probably wasn't in the DRS zone um, as I came from so far back, but that's okay. As you can see, back to standard for the, the technical part of the second sector. And skipping forward to lap six in fast burning fuel. And you can see I've undercut this whole group of cars in the midfield. Thank you, engineer. As I go purple with the 28-8, I think. And that's Vettel right in front of me. He was one of the race leaders. So the strategy's definitely worked out. The now I just have to... Just have to wait and see where that puts us in regards to the other cars too. Hopefully those cars in front of Vettel haven't pitted yet and they'll um, hold them up a bit and it'll really help my cause. Yep, using most of my cars. I'm in stand for some reason on this lap. Um, still going purple, and I more than likely have DRS on on Vettel on the main straight, and he's got no. Ooh, down the inside. It's going to go around the outside, but then I thought, hey, let's go down the inside. McLaren up ahead, Jensen Button. Now would be a good time to put it in fast and to catch up with that leading group. Even if it means I go into negative numbers for my uh, fuel reading, because once you sit sat behind a few cars, you can um, sit it in lean, use the slipstream to uh, stay with them. Um, especially if you have DRS, you can just stay with someone. So well, oh, contact there. I think maybe button hit the wall. Um, not that likely though, because I think I squeezed him. It's contact with me. But now, I'm coming onto the back of the Mercedes, it's Schumacher. Now would be a good time to put it in lean. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Save fuel while I've got the benefit of DRS, which I think is actually double DRS. Oh, I'm wide. Yeah, it's double DRS. I can save fuel for a good part of the lap. Oh, locked up again. I think I've only got medium standard brakes on. I can't really explain why I'm locking up though, but um... Oh well. Position 6 at the moment. I think that the majority of cars have already stopped now, so... 
This is all for position. There's two leaders about four seconds up the road from this group who are breaking away. I'll need to get past this group here so I can make inroads on those guys. And again, the AI car hasn't had a good run out of the, the fast chicane. Next is Schumacher. That Mercedes were pretty hard to pass since they have very good straight line speed, I think. If um, their performance at Melbourne is anything to go by with their double DRS. Okay, times are looking good. You're matching race pace. Watch out for the car chasing you. He's less than a second oh. behind and will use DRS. Closing speed is quite massive there because he was stuck behind. Hamilton. And now I've compromised myself a lot and I've let Jensen Button through and almost Vettel. Because my exit speed was just horrible. Um, I should quickly recover from this. Puppies are barking. And get past the uh, Mercedes there. It looks like someone's at my door. This is like really embarrassing. I'll have to go guys. I'll see you later for uh, episode 2. Bye bye. Hamilton, go for the overtake. You've lost your front wing. If you can nurse the car back to the pits, we'll fit a replacement.
We've got a small lead over Grosjean. Push harder. Your lap times are looking poor. You should pit for repairs. Pit, pit, pit. to rejoin the track. The track is clear.